What up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Game Day here on the Admix channel. As always, I'm Mikey. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Subway Surfers, a notorious endless runner game where you're running through a subway on trains and walls, all that different kind of stuff, collecting coins and seeing if you can beat the high score and see how far you can run. It kind of took over the endless runner genre, the same with Temple Run back in the day, where everybody was playing Temple Run, everyone was playing Subway Surfers. It's by Cybo Games. Let's surf into the game, guys, and see what Subway Surfers looks like now. Subway Surfers! Character to design is still quite similar, but it looks like he's growing up a little bit now. Subway Surfers Little Rock, tap to play. So it just jumps you straight into the game. Swipe up to jump. Swipe down to slide. Casual. Casual. Fresh moves. Swipe left. Swipe right. Very easy basic controls. Hyper casual games love to just jump you straight into the game. You can just jump and learn. The controls are always very simple and easy to learn. So there's no need for you to like learn combos or anything like that. It's literally just a swipey swipey or a tappy tappy kind of games that just gets the the player involved very easily and, and, and simple. Uh, oh, that was close. That was a close one. What's that? Is that a power up? What's that? We're so Whoa! Hell yeah! Let's go! We've got speedy boost. Woo -hoo -hoo. Keep going, keep going. Sometimes I don't know if it's a train approaching me or it's a train just standing still. Oh, it's getting a bit faster now. They can tell. No! Oh, I actually made it through! Oh! Yeah. 2,380 on my first try back on the subway surfers. I think I'm just a professional gamer, guys. We already know this. All right, so we got a mystery box. Let's tap that. 1,000 coins. And you can watch an ad to double that to 2,000. You can connect with your Facebook to get rewards from friends. You get a daily gift by watching an ad as well. Damn, they love making you want to watch ads. And uh, this is the leaderboard of my friends. You can boost your hoverboard. You can get power ups by spending your credits. So I have 1,180 credits. So I can use 300 of those and upgrade my hoverboard. So we have the missions tab where you get daily rewards or weekly rewards for completing missions. Well, I definitely, look how much this guy costs, Prince K. Damn, that's a lot of money. Or you can spend real game money to unlock the special characters. So like Eddie, Wayne, and then there's different kind of boards. Obviously it being subway surfers and it being based around the boards. There's a lot of stuff in this game that makes you want to watch ads and makes you want to spend in-game money to unlock all these com cosmetic items like built boards and stuff like that different characters and then there's the shop which you can get a daily reward for free as well so i got myself um a score booster so let's jump into the game again after looking at all that mad stuff oh 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 whoa we got a speed boost jetpack baby Yes! Give me all of that! Give me all the coins! Whoa! Right, that was good. That was good. Another... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No! No! I landed right on top of it! So if you connect with your Facebook, you get 5,000 coins. You also get a character called Dino. Once you start playing the game a little bit more, you get used to the controls and you know when to like duck. Went to slide. Okay, I can see the game's getting more difficult now. Whoa, speed, man. That's way too fast. Oh my. Damn, Subway Surfers. A lot has happened since I last played this game. There's a whole load of watch ads. There's a whole load of cos com cosmetic items like the boards and the different characters to make you pay real money to be able to unlock and collect those. They've added weekly and, and daily challenges, re rewards, all these kind of like endless runners games that make you want to come back and beat your score. Implementing the Facebook part where you can challenge your friends and say, I've got a better higher score than you. And then it will challenge them to try and get a score, better score than you. Like all of that comes in and ropes into one massive hyper casual game, which is Subway Surfers. 
and they've been going for years. I had a lot of fun guys playing Subway Surfers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Amix channel. Like always, if you want to play Subway Surfers or you haven't played Subway Surfers yet, I will leave the link downstairs to the Play Store. 12,831 points on my total speed run. If you can beat that, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Like always, subscribe to this channel. Follow our social platforms that will be there for you to check out AdMix. And if you are a developer yourself and want me to review your game, make sure you leave it downstairs or send us an email or follow the link. And I'll see you lots in the next video. Subway Surfer, out! Subway!